You too. It's your boy JJ, isn't he back? Oh yeah, and this is that MB200 Rally Strife Fenders. Check them out. It came out nice. They're gonna back one. Okay, but today we're gonna be doing a Baja Brake Band install. Now, first, you're definitely gonna need a 18 and a 19 millimeter wrench. Um, I use this as well. And what I did with this was because this tie rod was kind of stuck in there, as you can see. It wasn't lubricated. So if you come and conquer with one that's kind of like this and it's through the tire, you're going to make sure you have your bolt on here first before you get to take and wax at it because you don't want to mess up your threading on here. So do not hit your threads on there. Put your bolt on there first to get it a little bit free and just hit it left and then come on this side, hit it back right, hit it back left, hit it back right, and then take that bolt off and then line it up like this. Let me get that better. Better on camera, I'm sorry about that. You want to line it up like this and take something and hit this at the end and whack that out of here. And these works, extensions works. Now I got everything off as you can see. I was having a brake problem and the brake was all the way tightened up, but it still wasn't giving me anything in which I kind of knew when it does that, and this is tightened all the way tight, and then it's like that, tight, and the brakes are still not working. You want to take the tire off. I put something up under here to level it as I hit it out, and it worked perfectly fine, but now let's take this off of here and let's see what's going on back there. Let's see. There we go. And look. Look what falls out of there. Brake band. So as you can see, you can you can just unscrew this thing right here. Unscrew it fully. There it goes. And that thing drops down. And there goes your brake band. Um, I can take the tire off, whatever. Just take your chain off the side. There we go. Ah. Okay, and look what we have here. Now, to take this off of here, just collapse it like this. Just grab both sides and pull in. And there it goes. And as you can see, it's no break on here. But it's a lot of tire on there. So, I don't know if they were just some, some speeders. and I really don't know. I can't even call it. But I have an aftermarket one, Chinese one, that's a little bit better because it has ceramic pads, as you can see. Ceramic pads on there. And to put this on, let me show you right first. To put this on here, right? Um, this is the flat side that goes here, and this is the round side that goes in there. Um, you can start by, let's say you close it. Let's just pull it open as far as we can pull it. Ah. And there we go. That side is on, right? And then you come down here like this. Close that shut just a little bit. Uh, how about this? How does it supposed to be like that? There we go. Okay, 
right now. You gotta pull that, uh, pull that on there like that. Ah, there we go. Let's do that one more time. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. Uh, shit happens like that. There's the one side. And there's the other side. There we go. As you guys can see, she's on there. And when you open it up, it's just supposed to open up mechanically. Then it opens up inside this drum. So let me show you guys from here. There we go. Okay, let me show you guys how to get this back in there correctly. First, you just want to slide it in like that. Then, I don't know if you can see, but you probably can't. Hold on, let me see if I can get you guys to see this in clear. <laughs> what I'm trying to do. All right, so your spacers. Make sure I get this correct. Well, you got your tire off. Go ahead and paint that too. Check it out. <clears throat> yeah. Now let's get 
get it back on. Chain on. You pop your brake back in the inside of there. Got two of them. Put your long one on the right hand side. Don't forget to put this thing on in there. Okay. And while you got this off, you guys should sand it. Sand it decently. Okay. My skateboard again. I'm gonna hold that right there like that. Cause it's really like a two person job, but we all can get it done. Seeing you can find it like a ratchet and give it a little give it a little tap. As soon as it starts to peek through, grab your spacer and slide it on. Tap in some more. And then she should start to come through smoothly. There we go. Now you can remove your brace up under the wheel. And to put this back together, you got your spring first. You wanna put this through here. Put that through the arm of the brake shoe. Brake caliper. You wanna screw that back there. Now you don't gotta adjust it yet. Um, make sure the chain is well tight. Tie it, pull it back enough. Okay.
Okay, <laughs> 19 and 17 for this one. And I didn't even tighten that tight. I only put like three screw adjustments on there. But check it out. There we go. Tight again. Super tight. And as you guys see, that's how you adjust it. Like I was saying before. I'm sorry I'm recording with the hand today. So once you unscrew this, if your tie rod is not coming out easy, don't just start the beat on here. Have your bolt all the way out to cover this. And then you want to give it a few hits. One, two, three. Let it go through just a little bit. Come back over here. One, two, three. Let it go back through, hit it again, and hit it again until it gets a little bit loose. Um, after that, take this off. Take the bolt back off. Sit this here as so, and hit that in all the way through. And this thing should be able to push it all the way through, and it should shoot out the other side. Hit it hard right there. Um, as you can see, my screw adjustment is not that far in. As you can still see in the inside of that hole, I just got it a few turns because the brake band is so new. Everything is back how it's supposed to be. Tightened up the chain. Spray the sprocket red up under there. And there she goes. The Rally Stripe Baja. And that's how you change the brake band. I hope it helps anybody out. Um, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Keep me posted. Thanks.